Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, somegadgetguy.com with a quick tip for the Windows Phone 8.1 keyboard. Uh, this will also work to a certain degree on the Windows Phone 8 keyboard for those of you who haven't gotten the Windows Phone 8 update yet. Now in my full review of Windows Phone 8.1, I mentioned that on the keyboard I really wish that there were long press options for keys to get into numbers and characters. And we have little numbers and characters or characters and number icon down here which toggles back and forth between numbers and characters, or our standard alphabet QWERTY keyboard. And this tip comes courtesy of Twitter follower Troy Lee Lytle. Now, if you just tap the character and number icon, it just swaps the keyboard over. But if you tap, hold, and drag to a specific number or character, it will automatically switch back to your QWERTY keyboard. So we can show that again. Say I need the number 9. I can slide up to the number 9, and then it re automatically swaps back to my QWERTY keyboard. And this is a much faster entry for special characters and for numbers than toggling back and forth by simply tapping the character number icon down there. I had no idea that this worked this way and it would have been really nice if Microsoft had ever shown us that this sliding action works as well as it does. Other long presses, of course, if you press and hold on the uh, shift key, it turns into a caps lock. You can also double tap really quickly to get the same function. And tapping and holding on the period key will also get you to other pieces of punctuation that you might want to use. And so this is the fastest way to get to a comma, a question mark, or an exclamation point, in my opinion, rather than trying to toggle over, hit the exclamation point, and then toggle back. So thank you very much, Troy. That was a very helpful suggestion. And I also had a complaint from YouTube viewer Varum Verma, and I do apologize if I am mispronouncing that, that, that name, who, who was asking for some type of like cursor key or cursor control down on the bottom on the keyboard. Now on Windows RT, there are these two little carrots that allow you to, to move your cursor back and forth, uh, sliding sideways left or right. There isn't any type of cursor control built into the keyboard on Windows Phone. But what we do have is the ability to slide the cursor anywhere we want to go. It's a little bit more complicated than it is on iOS where you just sort of hold the screen and then the cursor drops into place and you can move it around. Here we have to look for these little circles. Maybe the fastest way to get it close is to tap on a word. And you can see this word popular now has a circle here and a circle here. If we want to select more, we can hold onto one of those circles and drag them around and this is how we select text to copy, cut, or paste, but we don't want to do that. So let's, ta uh, let's come back in. I'm going to get my keyboard back up and I'm going to tap on information. But I don't need the word information. Maybe I need to switch that to a they. So I can tap again and notice now we still have that little circle down at the bottom. If I hold that circle, I can now slide that cursor into the middle of a word and I can uh, delete or add characters right from that point. Again, if you tap, tap again, now you have the ability to slide that cursor anywhere you want to go. So uh, Varun, I hope that helps uh, just help you get that cursor where you need it to go. I know it can be a little trickier on Windows Phone than it has been on other operating systems. And, uh, and again, I just want to thank Troy for that great tip on the character and number icon down at the bottom. That was very helpful. And, and just this is proving to be a phenomenal keyboard. I still wish I had long press for special characters and numbers, but this sliding action now makes this a lot easier for me to navigate the keyboard. So folks, those are a couple handy little tricks for Windows Phone if uh, you've been having some issues just entering text or numbers or characters. Uh, thanks so much for watching my videos, sharing, dropping me comments down at the bottom, subscribing to my channel, and hitting that thumbs up button. It's all greatly appreciated and I've been having a ton of fun bringing you all of this tech goodness. So thanks so much for watching folks and I will catch you all on the next video.